I'm sitting here talking to the camera and the camera ain't running. That happens to me all the time. I think y'all and Mr. Pod have been co-conspiring against me. That's what I think. Okay now. For my next trick, I'll pop these plugs out, take off the rocker covers, take out the head bolts, ease that head off of there, and we'll consider what we see inside of there. I was just commenting to Mr. Heavy Chevy that I was not planning to split the case on this one like he did over his house, although it's kind of scary you start pulling things apart. Sometimes you just never know if you're going to be able to stop. But I'm, I'm sort of resigned. I sort of resigned myself to not tearing this completely, absolutely apart. Although, even if I did, it wouldn't be the worst thing that ever happened. Both factory motors are pretty fun to build. Dad out there does it all the time. He likes it. You can tell by the look on his face. He's got that happy look on his face. Y'all ever look at his face when he's splitting the case open? Oh, he just. It's just joy all inside him there. You can just see it. Some people like that, you know. That's what makes some people happy. Split open a Volkswagen case. Line board that baby. Put some new uh, pistons and jugs and cam and lifters and all that fun stuff. They do crankshaft. Oh boy. What fun. Alright, I'm going to stop talking now. So. I don't have to listen anymore. I'm not gonna talk anymore. There's a bigger screwdriver, I think. Alrighty. That's for the little ones and that's for the big ones. Hmm. I'll get my little wrench. Little wrench here. Oh joy. Sometimes I use a magnet to pull the nuts out of that. And sometimes I use a magnet to pull the little washers right there off so they don't get lost. If I can drop them down in this little valve cover. That is actually a valve cover. I know it's tiny. It's not like a Chevrolet valve cover, but it is one. Just a little. It's like a baby. It's a little baby valve cover. That's all I'm saying. It's a tiny valve cover. Yeah, that yeah, is. Maybe they need to make a socket nut ejector. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be a good idea? Think about it. That way when your bolts, when your nuts go down in your socket and you hit the little ejector and it makes them fly out. Wouldn't that be smart? Somebody's smart. I'll invent that. 60 and Powell's pretty smart. I wonder why he don't invent one of them. Alright, let's take that off. There. Oh yeah, now we got these push rods. They all got to come out. Alrighty. And now we get down to the uh, head bolts. Head bolts connected to the neck bolt, something like that. Gentle now, gentle, gentle. There, like that. The snap noise it makes me know that they're. And loose, it's good. We'll snap. Yeah, that's good. We'll snap. Yeah, it's good. Let's go with the center ones first. We'll snap. <sighs> Easy now. Huh? I think better if the rod, if the uh, rod to the head doesn't turn, it stays in place. I like that better. I believe this side may have already had new uh, case protectors put in those right there. I believe that's what I'm looking at. Alright, they're all loose now. We just spin them out of there. 